This video is about interval notation. Interval notation is a way to describe a set of numbers. Um, we do it in two different ways, usually in mathematics. We either use an inequality, uh, kind of like less than or greater than, or, or we can use less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And so we use those to describe quantities. Um, but another way to do it is uh, to use interval notation. And the way interval notation works is that you, instead of using less than or greater than, you use parentheses. And instead of using less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you use brackets. And uh, it's actually not too bad. You're, you're basically describing an interval between two numbers so, um, or two quantities. So, for example, uh, you've seen in the past um, x is greater than 4. Uh, if we were to graph this, uh, you would make a number line. And you would have 0 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. And in Algebra 1, you talked about how this should get an open circle because it's not equal to. And where are the values greater than 4? The values that are greater than 4 are to the right. So that is a way of describing uh, an inequality or a set of numbers, all the numbers that are greater than 4. But a way to do this in interval notation uh, is to look and see from least to greatest what kind of numbers are being described. So the lowest number on this graph is a 4, and then the highest number that this goes to, the arrow just goes on forever, so it goes to positive infinity. So to write x is greater than 4 in interval notation, uh, you would put a 4, comma, infinity, now to decide whether you use brackets or parentheses, you're going to look at your inequality symbol. The x values are only greater than 4, so they can't equal 4, so they just get a parentheses. But also, the infinity will always get a parentheses because you can never equal infinity. It's not really a number. It's just saying that the values continue to increase. So your interval goes from 4 all the way to positive infinity. So that would be a way to describe it. Let's try one more. x is less than or equal to 5. And I like drawing the graph uh, for the reason that it helps me to decide uh, where the lowest number is and where the highest number is. And so 5, if I put that on my graph, uh, I would allow, be allowed to use a closed circle because it's less than or equal to. And then numbers less than 5 go to the left. And so uh, in this case, the lowest number being used is negative infinity. Um, and it's not really a number, but it's going towards negative infinity because the arrow continues on. And then uh, the highest number being used, or the greatest number, is 5. So it would go negative infinity, comma, 5. And infinity always gets a parentheses. And 5, this time we get a bracket because it can be equal to, and so bracket. And so the way to describe that set of numbers, all the numbers less than 5 uh, or equal to 5, uh, would be using set notation the way we've done it. All right, so let's try and look at a graph because we really use this for domain and range. So in regards to domain and range, how could we use interval notation? So let's make a quick graph. It's not going to be awesome. I'm just going to make a line segment. So let's put it here at negative 1, positive 2. And let's put another one here at 3, negative 3. Oh, that was pretty terrible. But that is our graph. And so uh, we're going to find the domain. Remember the domain is the set of x values that this graph uses. Since it doesn't continue on left and right, it won't be all real numbers. So look at the x value to the left that it uses. Well, it starts at negative 1. This point is negative 1, 2. And then the other point is at, the farthest point to the right is at 3, negative 3. So the x values that are being used are negative 1 all the way to positive 3. And since it equals it, you can write it as a set or an interval from negative 1 with a bracket, because it can equal it, uh, to 3. 
the other x value at the end of the segment. And so the domain of that function uh, would be negative 1 to 3. The range uh, now looks at uh, the up and down movement on the y-axis. So start at the bottom and say, okay, what is the lowest y value it goes to? And that would be negative 3. And then the highest y value it goes to would be positive 2. So the range can be written that way. And once again, they get brackets because you actually have points there. Uh, so let's look at one polynomial uh, that we would maybe see on a quiz or on a test. So if we were to find the domain and range, let's make let's make it a parabola just so that it's familiar from something we've done in the recent past. <clears throat> so we'll have a vertex at one, two, and then let's say the vertex opens down. So once again, the domain is how is the graph moving from left and right, uh, from left to right. And so uh, the graph is moving to the left and doesn't seem to be uh, stopping as it continues to go to the left the graph is the graph is going down so it's going towards negative infinity on the x-axis and then it's also moving to the right and so the graph is going towards positive infinity so another way of saying all real numbers is saying negative infinity to positive infinity the range however in this problem uh, starting low how low does the graph go it goes down forever and so it would go towards negative infinity and then how high up does it go it goes up to positive 2 and it actually can equal positive 2 so it will get a bracket and that's how you're going to use interval notation to do domain and range if you want to use inequalities you can um, but interval notation and inequalities say the same thing so we want to learn uh, both alright have a great day